Good morning, YouTube. Sure appreciate you stopping by. So I've been searching for the best spot free rents for RV since we got Trudy Thunder. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Sure appreciate you stopping by. You got here just in time. Hey, if you're new to the channel, we bought our Thor Magnitude F550 chassis Super C about six months ago. In case you don't know, the Magnitude has four color, full auto body automotive paint, which is beautiful. We love it. And she, she just, she's just so pretty. But it's different from any other RV we've ever owned in that that automotive paint is a little more sensitive and subject to getting dirty than your typical flat RV finish. Spend a lot of time keeping her clean and I'm always looking for a way to make things easy. Now, if I were to take her to the car wash, it takes about $60 to do a car wash. If I were to hire someone to do it, we're talking if we want to wax on it we're up to close to $500 uh, I don't have one of those blue drive-through truck washers anywhere nearby so I do it myself I've got I've got all the equipment necessary to, to do it I got an electric pressure washer a wand and recently I had a company send me a water softener that helps take the minerals out of the water so you get a little you get a cleaner wash but it doesn't take all of them out a few videos look back I showed you how I had been doing it with hand drying it with a couple of products and then coming back and putting a line x product i love that line x product but i hate all the wipes climbing up and down the ladder and she's big it takes a lot of time it usually takes me three to four hours to do a full wash and wipe but i think i may have found a solution actually two solutions to minimize that effort but wait for the diesel truck to go by very loud trucks so I've been searching for the best spot free rents for RV since we got Trudy Thunder. And I have found two products. I have high hopes that it's gonna give me that spot free rents for the RV solution. And the first one of those, you, you can see I got one in a box, but the first one is 303. It's a touchless sealant. It's an, a water activated paint sealer you supposedly you just spray it on and then rinse it off and the water the water rinse is enough to cause this sheeting action to occur and give you that water beating sheeting off effect we'll see the the second one that i'm most excited about for the spot free rinse rv solution is the deionized spot free car wrench unit now i did find these pro all these products that i use can be found on amazon i am an amazon influencer and i do do earn a little bit of revenue if you click through to the and make that purchase it doesn't affect your cost at all but it sure does help put gas in trudy's tank because she's thirsty your help is most appreciated with that let's open up this package and see what we've got inside this aquatic life dini spot free rent car unit uh-oh that's not supposed to happen So it comes with a like a check valve and a and a nozzle. I, I was hoping I'd be I was hoping to be able to hook that up to the pressure washer so I don't have to climb very high. I don't know. We'll see see how it goes. Teflon tape, a wrench, instructions half to one gallon per minute for spot free rent half to one gallon per minute
so this has two re two cartridges that as as they uh, fill up with mineral deposits they turn a different color so you know when to replace it uh, I, the, the total investment on this is about eighty dollars now that was Amazon Prime so let me read the instructions and I'll get back to you. Today's video is sponsored by NowSite Marketing. If you're looking for a, a simple, easy to use marketing solution for your small business or even your YouTube channel like I have, NowSite really is a turnkey online marketing solution. They have everything you need. Best of all, you're not by yourself. They've got nerds on call to help you build what you want to build. Their website building tool is drag and drop. They have unlimited websites. You can build as many websites as you want. They've got this artificial intelligence thing. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know how that thing works, but it helps you market your business on social media. I have found it to be the best thing for me to help feature my YouTube videos for in an easy to use format. So if you go to dudeRV.com, that's a now site marketing website. Best of all, they can show you how to get your website for free. That's right, I said free. We all like free. So check the link in the description below and see if now site marketing works out for you. All right, let's go back to the video. I've got it all assembled. It actually wasn't difficult at all. Put the cartridges in the can canister, put the O-ring in place, tighten it down with the funky little wrench. And you wanna make sure you have your uh, supply and filtered water hose connections on the right ones so you want the female on the supply and the male on the filtered use the supplied really crappy teflon tape and there's a couple of rubber o-rings that go in there and is ready to go now it says use half to one gallon per minute how am I supposed to measure that? It also says in the instructions to use water pressure between 40 and 80 PSI. If you're an RVer, you've got a, a, a water pressure regulator. should have a water pressure regulator. If you don't have one of those, you need to get one. It also says the cartridge life is going to be determined by how how much how how hard your water is so if you got real hard water cartridge is not going to last very long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run i'm going to use the water softener so we have a 0.5 micron filter to capture this the dirt and then we'll run it through here and soften up the water before i run it through here and i came with this little nozzle and this is an adjustable nozzle so i may not need to connect it to the pressure washer to get up high but i think i'm going to connect it to the pressure washer anyway because this works better the 303 touchless sealant works better when water's spraying it so i want a, a flat not a round first thing i got to do though is i got to get trudy washed before we can start playing with this new toy so i'll do a time lapse and let you watch me wash Trudy Thunder. It might be of interest to you. And then we'll work on the spot free rents RV solution. So stay tuned. More to come.
the washing party's done. You know, washing, it takes three times as long <laughs> when, when I'm having to reposition camera. If you noticed when I was hitting this side and I had the, the camera right on the, the, the sprayer, that I had a pretty, I had a really good bead going on. And I, but I still have some water spots. And on the, the hood, it's really the only flat surface. I got a lot of spots. So now we're gonna see if this new piece of equipment is the best spot-free rinse for, the R for RV. Whew. I really need the best spot-free rinse for the RV. <laughs> this is hot. It's hot, hot, hot. All right, well, let me rig up. So before I, it, the instructions on the spot-free rinse equipment recommend a smaller hose. So I got a five-eighths or three quarters, so I need to, I need to step that down. We're at 50 PSI, no 60 PSI, 50, 60 PSI. We're at 61 PSI, so we're good on that side of the equation. Well, what, what I'm gonna do first is try, is do this with the nozzle they provided, and then I'm going to connect it to the pressure washer and see what happens. That's why I want to put it on the pressure washer so I don't have to bring out the ladder to do this. So I'm not connected to the pressure washer. And I can reach way up there, yay! So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the, the, the whole coach. I'm not gonna make you watch that. Uh, and since we got a lot of sun, it'll, it'll dry real quick and we'll find out if this really is the best spot-free rinse for the RV. So stay with me. We're coming to a conclusion here. It just occurred to me, I didn't tell you what I was washing with. And, and you might wanna know, I'm using the Hybrid solutions from Turtle Wax, the ceramic wash and wash and wax. Works great. I love it. So in the past, I've, I've used another uh, Turtle Wax product, which was spray on and dry. The last time I washed the RV, I, I didn't film it. I actually put the 303 on it. And I'm really impressed with the way that has staying power. Now I haven't done the maroon car. I just washed it and you can see we're spotting up real bad. So we're, we're gonna put the deionizer to the test on the little maroon car. And at the same time I, that I spray that on, I'm gonna use the 303 touchless. So you can get a, a feel for how well that works. You're gonna love it. I know I do. It occurred to me that I had not shown you what I was using for the wash It's the, the turtle wax hybrid solutions Ceramic wash and wax every time you use it You put a layer of that ceramic coating on there Now I, I had already applied the 303 to the motorhome and you saw how well that water was beating before I even washed it and then after I washed it it was crazy. So I haven't done this one the, the maroon car Yappy's car as you can see we got lots of spotting So what I'm going to do is use the new 
deionized water tool with the touchless sealing. Sealant. Now Say if Trudy's spotty. Little, little bit on the glass. Still a little bit on the glass on, on this side. But man, I can sure live with that. So I had uh, some warranty repair work done and I had to take the uh, compartment door off and they put it back on with silicone. Silicone on my paint. If any of y'all know of uh, what's, what's the best product that won't affect the clear coat that will take the silicone off, I sure would appreciate you posting that in the comments down below. I don't want to experiment <laughs> and ruin the paint job. There's spots back here. I'm not sure if that's that might be dust blowing in the wind. But it looks like dust, not spots. Just a spot there. I, I'm liking what I see here. No spots. A few spots on the mirror, but I always clean the glass again anyway. Oh, some there. It's much better. It may have been that I let that, when I let that dry the first time. So the, the, the experiment is leaving, is driving away. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you found this to be helpful and beneficial, hey, I'd have, give me a thumbs up. That's really important to the algorithm. The YouTube algorithm finds that to be of great value. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. That's why I do what I do. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?